exercises. It's going to be for upper body and your lower body. And these stretches, I would say, are more intermediate to advanced. And I will do another workout video that would be more for a beginner. Because, you know, we're all at different levels of our exercise and I want to have something for everybody. So, anyway, you know what I'm going to say. I need you to get your workout gear on because we're going to be doing some stretching and flexibility exercises. So, how about that? Okay, so the first exercise I'm going to show you is called Eagle Arms and that is for your upper back and your shoulders. And when you do it, for all these exercises, you're going to do like a three to five count. And the reason is because they're deeper stretches. When I say three to five count, you're going to be deep breathing. And that's that kind where you, know, you go to the doctor's office and they tell you to inhale and exhale. And I know we don't like doing that, but really it helps release the stretch. It's actually really healthy for your body too. So anyway, it's that inhale and that exhale breathing. So, here I am, I'm standing, and my feet are gonna be like shoulder width apart. I'm gonna take my hands like this, and I'm gonna cross them. Then after I cross them here, I'm gonna cross them again and meet my hands. And uh, I'll show you another way in case you're not flexible enough to get your hands like this. So, as I'm standing here, now I'm gonna Drop them down first, and then I'm going to push it on up, and here I go. Okay, I did that deep breathing. I was inhaling my nose and blowing out. It is a really great stretch. Now, I'm going to turn around the back way, and you might be able to see my muscles. You can see how it's stretching them. But again, it is getting my upper back and my shoulders. So let me turn around here. Do the same thing. Eagle, cross it, pull it down. So here I am pulling it down. Now up. For a count of five. Oh, you yeah, feel really good. Uh, I love that one. It's so good. It really releases a lot of that upper tension there. So, again, yeah. now, if you're a person, you do it and you go like that, and if you're not able to do that, then just go ahead and get close. Get as close as you can. You can still do that and pull up and get the stretch. Okay? So, just because you can't touch, now, if you're totally inflexible for that, then don't beat yourself up over it. It's because it's more advanced, and then you can go let another time to my beginner exercise, beginner flexibility stretching video. Okay, so now the next one is, it's called upper stretch. And that is for your upper back, your chest, your shoulders, and your arms. 
and so you can see me here, I'll do it up against my refrigerator, but what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be placing my hands uh, just up above my shoulder, and you'll see. So you want to do it at home, you do it against a wall, alright? So here I am, and my feet are going to be shoulder width apart. Let me do it first, and then I'll verbally tell you what I did. And I'm going to do, I'll hold it for um, the three second count, but you're doing three to five. So here I am. Uh, yeah, hands are just above my shoulders. All right, here we go. And here I am. I'm breathing. So good. So as you notice, my arms were here and I had my head in between my arms. You don't put your head hanging down there. It's going to put tension on your neck in the wrong way. You don't want to do that. And also, you don't want your like lower back. You sort of want your lower back more neutral-ish. You know, you don't want to round it and you don't want to curve it. Okay? That is a great one. And it gets the whole way up your arms, up here chest, your shoulders, the whole thing. And again, I would do a longer stretch, but of course, I don't want to take the time up on the video, but again, three to five count with deep breathing. All right, now the next one I'm going to do, it's called chalk circle, and it's going to be down on the ground, so uh, uh, I'm going to get my mat out for that. That it's the chalk circle. And you want to like a towel or a pillow for this because you want your head to be on it. Your head might, it might, your head might come off it a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm going to put it down and lying down on my side. And my knees are going to be bent like this. And my head's here. And I'm, let me just do some and I'll tell you what I did. Arms are stretched out. Take it over to that side and bring it back. Take it over, bring it back. Take it over, my head goes with the arm. Bring it back. I'll do one more here. Okay, and all the while you're keeping that steady. Now go to the other side. And uh, so anyway, what that's doing is releasing the chest the shoulders, and the upper back. And uh, keep in mind, always one side's more flexible than the other. So if you feel it more on one side, still I want you to do the same amount. Okay, so here I am on this side. Let's do that. Hands on. Bent. Okay, here I am with the arm. And over there. And back. Do it nice and easy, no rush. Yeah. And I'll do one more for you. It feels really good. I like that. So there you are. So I would say your goal for that would be five on each side. But if you could do more than that, I want you to do it. You could do ten on each side or twelve. Do it. I wouldn't say you need much more than that. But you be the judge on that, because everybody's different, but it's really good. Like, typically I do like 10 of those. So, my next ex uh, flexibility exercise is going to be for the lower body. And I don't need the mat for that, so I'm going to get that out of the road. And this next one is called a lunge stretch. And what that's good for, it's good for the front of the hip. And then you're going to do that uh, three to five deep breathing count. So, uh, here, let me get over here. Okay, so let me get in the position and then after I do it, I'll tell you what I did. But I will tell you this, I do start out on the one knee. And this leg is forward, and you see my fingertips. So, let me do it first. Here we go. And I 
drop the knee back down, I switch sides. So, as you noticed, here I am, knees down on the floor, start on the knee, fingertips are here. And then I'm gonna push off this leg, right now, here I go, tuck it under, and lean in, and here I go. Deep breathing. Put the knee back down and switch sides. That one is really good. I love that one. Really stretches the front of the hip and it stretches your quad too. So um, let me see. Let me try one this direction for you. Pull the knee. Here I am. Fingertips. Lunge forward. Knee back down, switch sides from the other knee here. On the knee first, fingertips, lift up, lean in. Very good and a deep stretch. Um, so anyway, the next one is called Prone Frog. And I think the best way to show you that one, I'm not trying to be obscene on you, but this is the best way. Down here, and your feet are together. I'll show you the front view then. You're trying to put your feet together, and you're just sort of like trying to drop your legs. And I'll show you the front in a minute. So you're just dropping your legs. Breathing. Oh man, that one really gets me. So anyway, that one, I'll tell you what that's for. That one is for your inner thigh and for your groin. So now the front is, and what you're trying to do is, uh, when you're in that position, you want to keep tucking your tailbone under. So the front view is like this. Down here on my forearms, as you can see, trying to touch these feet together, touching those feet, just down here like this in the front, and then I'm just trying to drop those legs down and again, tuck your tailbone down into the floor, and you want to keep a deep breathing for the three to five seconds. So here I go. Trying to lower those legs down. Do I really feel that? Oh, it's a good one. So, ah, uh, prone frog. I love that one. Okay, so now for the last one, it's called a kneeling hamstring stretch. I'll tell you what, this is one of the best hamstring stretches. It's a deeper one. You don't have to hold it very long. So, uh, what you could do is hold on to something, anchor, and like sometimes if I'm somewhere, I'm, I don't know, sometimes I'm not telling you to do this, but sometimes when I'm doing it, I'll have my water bottle and I'll hold on to that. It's just so you can, so you don't fall over and you can balance. So I'll like hold on to that. Uh, but so, but right for now, I put my hand on over here. And what I'm gonna do is, you know, I think I should uh, just for a minute come over there and tilt my camera mode up. Just one second here. Let's do that. Get a tilt up. Here we are. Okay. Yes, I think that would be better. Okay, there we go. So here I am, holding on over here, just anchoring. So, I'm going to be stretching this hamstring first, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to point the toe, and I'm going to put my other hand on my hip, and I'm going to lean into that point of toe, but you want to lean in with a straight back, there's no rounding, I'll show you what you don't want to do, but let me do the straight back, so you lean in for the three second deep breathing, three to five, I'll do three, here we go.
stretch is the front of your foot too, by the way. Now I'm gonna flex it and lean in. Oh boy, does that get you. Oh, it's really deep. It's gonna get the whole way up the calf, go stretch the calf, the whole way up to the hamstring. Now I'm gonna switch sides. Here I am here, pointing the foot and I'm gonna lean in, here I go. Okay, now flex. Flex gets you more than the point. Okay, now here's what I don't want you to do. Just briefly do it, because people have a tendency to do this. So when you're here, this is the round back. You're rounding your back. You don't do that, just lean. I'm leaning in. You just lean in with a straight back, okay? So here you are. You can put your hand here or down by the side. You lean in it, deep breathing, because you'll need it. Flex your foot. Oh, trust me, you'll need it. Deep breathing helps release those stretches. Oh. So anyway, before I give you my quotes, I uh, just want to say something more on a personal note. Anyway, uh, I try to change like my videos around as far as my introductions, you know, because my studio is my studio. And uh, I might step out and, you know, try to do a workout out and about somewhere else, but this is the best place for me to do it, to show you what you need to know. But anyway, because I, I get bored easily in the creativity area, that's why I change up the intros. And it's because I like change. And I like variety. So I don't get bored. So I hope that helps my videos for you so you don't get bored. But anyway, um, and the other thing I just wanted to add is, in general, if you keep your life active and have your own interests in life, such as I, you know, I have a lot of interests in a lot of things because I'm never bored. I keep doing things and I can entertain myself and you know it's a good thing if you can entertain yourself because when you can entertain yourself you don't put that pressure on someone else to entertain you so it's just my little tip if you can entertain yourself and you have your own interests you don't put that on someone else to make you happy you can be the own master of your own happiness in life that way, when you come together, it's a good thing. So anyway, that's just my um, thing on a more personal note. So, give me a moment, I have some quotes for you. So, for my first quote, I have a plaque picture I have on the wall. And this is James Dean. He's, he was even way before my time. And anyway, he was an old actor from the past, and a very popular one. And he died at a young age from, he was like a live for the moment, fast cars, you know, and he died in a car accident. But anyway, I like what he says. He says, dream as if you'll live forever, and live as if you'll die tomorrow. And unfortunately, that is what happened to him. But that's a good quote. So let me set that down. And my other quote is William Shakespeare. You know how I love him. And he says, It's not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. So until next time. Ta-ta!